So is the makeup industry saturated with celebrity makeup brands? Hey everyone, so I bring up this topic today because I heard that two major pop icons, Selena Gomez and Sierra, are coming out with their own makeup beauty brand. Now, this doesn't come to a surprise to me because it seems like there's an ongoing trend of artists of all kinds that are coming out with their own makeup brands. I mean, we have Rihanna, Lady Gaga, Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, and every other major YouTuber or influencer out there has done a collaboration with a huge makeup brand. So again, this seems to be an ongoing trend where someone who has a huge following, whether from being an actor, an actress, a singer, being an athlete, or on YouTube, wants to dip their toes into the makeup or beauty industry. Now specifically, I'm not talking about those who want to become a beauty influencer, more focusing on those who are coming out with their makeup brands. This really interests me because as someone who's striving to be a part of the makeup industry, it would really scare me to come out with my own makeup brand because there's hundreds of makeup brands out there and there seems to be almost one coming out every month nowadays so what would make mine stand out from the rest and what would make people want to buy it now maybe it's because I don't have a huge amount of followers is why I feel this way but it seems like these social media tycoons already feel comfortable and secure to come out with their own makeup brand because they believe their followers will already buy their products. They don't necessarily have to have a huge marketing team or don't have to push it as much in the beginning because they are already so famous where they have so many people supporting them, which is a good thing. So basically they are their own marketing. However, I feel like to strive in this market or this industry, you need to be providing a service that people aren't getting elsewhere or your brand needs to be better than its competition. Because you can have a huge following and people might buy your products right off the bat when the brand is new, but what is making them come back for more and to maintain you having a profit? But it seems like some celebrities have a good recipe going. So for Rihanna, she's basically known for being so inclusive of all skin tones because prior to her, it's been a while for a makeup company to come out with so many range of shades for all skin tones. Well, almost all skin tones. And for Kim Kardashian, she's known for her contour sets and for Kylie Jenner, her lip kits. And for Lady Gaga, she's known for coming out with a makeup brand that is basically making people comfortable with expressing themselves anyway through makeup. I know she hasn't come out with her, her makeup brand yet, but she has a really good concept going. But then you have other celebrities and influencers who have not done so well in terms of staying recognized in the industry, like Drew Barrymore coming out with Flower Beauty or Jessica Alba coming out with Honest Beauty. And then you have those who have just honestly ruined their career over failed makeup products like Jaclyn Hill. As we all know, she came out with a makeup brand and her first product to launch was lipsticks that had so many complaints and so many returned products that it completely discredited her and dismissed her on social media. So to me, it still seems also risky because your makeup brand needs to be absolutely amazing and your marketing team needs to be absolutely incredible as well. And honestly, as a consumer, it can all seem a little overwhelming at times because it seems like there's a new makeup brand coming out almost every week. And most likely than not, it seems to be a celebrity makeup brand. And to be honest, I do want to try out these products because some of these celebrities I do look up to and I definitely want to support them and their products. But because they are a celebrity, sometimes their products are overpriced. So it doesn't make sense for me to be paying $50 for a product every week. And I guess to answer my question, if the makeup industry is saturated with celebrity makeup brands, it probably is. The industry as a whole is overly saturated, but it is one of the only industries that I know of that is consistently growing. And there's so many different avenues that someone can grow in. It's never black or white. There are so many gray areas. Meaning to succeed in the industry, you don't necessarily have to have a step-by-step -step process. You really only need to catch people's attention and keep it, but that's easier said than done. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Bye for now.